y'all. How are you? It's your girl Evan Razia. Welcome back to this channel. This channel, not my channel, but this one. Today is March 7th. I am going to be doing a mini life update video because I have so many like updates concerning my music life and being an artist. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hi, my name is Evan Nazia. Here on my channel, the motto is to live, learn, and adjust. Whether that's me sharing my life experiences to help you grow, to inspire you, and I do a lot of that through my music too because I am a singer-songwriter and that is one of the biggest parts of what makes Evan, Evan. Welcome. This is a dress that I'm wearing. I love stripes and I'm wearing it with these. Tennis. Once again, I have my trusty journal here that I write everything in. Let's get into this. So firstly, in my 2019 recap video, I mentioned that I changed my major. And since then, like a lot of people have come to me um, saying, okay, you kind of left us hanging. What are you studying? Why are you in college? I totally have forgotten to tell so many people I changed my major. Like, you shouldn't feel any pressure to know what I'm studying. Like, I'm the one studying it, you know? So, drum roll. I am now psych behavioral science. Yes, your girl is in psychology now. And it only makes sense every single time I've told somebody. They're just like... That makes sense. I see that. I will be doing psych behavioral science because I want to be a life coach. I want to share specifically between like the ages of like 18 to like 25 or so. So I wouldn't mind working as a therapist in a Christian university for a part of my career. But my ideal is to work as a life coach, one-on-one -on -one personal counseling. It will help you out with your life. I have always loved doing this. You know, when you're in school, they're like, write down what do you want to be when you grow up? Psychologist was always on that list and I completely forgot that until I made the switch and just like mommy would you believe XYZ and she's like are you kidding me and I'm like I don't know why I didn't remember that until then and God is like Evan ding 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 are you crazy and I'm like I've never felt more at peace and I'm working to get my PhD because I feel like anything less than that I will not be taken seriously <laughs> sorry God used me being homeschooled back in 2015 to start this YouTube channel to grow and cultivate this passion for helping others sharing through music and just all of this my youtube platform was a direct step to my purpose i didn't even want to start this channel when i did five years later i'm here so that's a little something something for you to remember god may show you something and you may not get it and it may take you a very long time to get it for me, it took me five years. He will never waste your time. If you're on God's timeline, you can be assured that that is the most perfect timeline you can ever be on and you are not wasting any time. God will use every inch, every piece of your journey, your path to lead you to where he wants you to be. So you can be 100% sure in that. Now on to greater things. Your girl is one of the nominees for New Artist of the Year for the Elevation Awards in the Bahamas. If you didn't know, I'm Bahamian, born and raised. The Elevation Awards is like a big deal. To have your own people recognize you for your talent is like very important to me. Because I did not see that coming and I'm like, God, what? Like, I can remember when I didn't even want to share my songs on my channel because I just want to keep it like personal between like me and my close friends. I don't know if I'm gonna win. If I do, that'd be fun. If I don't, hopefully I will be voted in again. But I'm just happy that I got nominated. A number of you have asked like, where do I go to vote? Only Bahamian creatives and artists are the ones who are gonna be voting. It's only up to us creatives to vote for each other. Yeah, pressure. <laughs> also, at the beginning of the year, I was interviewed by Elevation Bahamas. Elevation now. Media, Elevation Now Media, I think that's what it is. As a new artist, they're just asking me about my platform, what I do, and then I was also featured on this new television show that they have called This Is How It Go, Bahamian Dialect. On that, I broke down the lyrics for my song, Cycle. And so, if you know anything about Genius's YouTube channel, they have artists come in and they sit and they sing a song a cappella and they break down the lyrics. The Bahamas has their version of that and it's this show and so it was very cool to be a part of that and that episode is going to be coming out soon like on social media platforms and stuff also in january i was asked to be the featured artist at emerge youth church i sang two songs there yeah so that was pretty cool and honestly i look at that i'm like god you really have 2020 starting out with a bang and i am excited 
it's becoming so real <laughs> you know it's really becoming real big news still this summer i will be performing three new songs um as a part of being one of the featured artists at this other christian event called youth alive youth alive is like a really big christian youth event that happens every year at this church called bahamas um faith ministries bfm and i will be there performing so if you are from nassau bahamas or just from the bahamas and you're going to be in nassau you should definitely come july 22nd to the 24th at 7 p.m nightly it's crazy how um when i was 15 i went to youth alive just to you know just as someone who wants to come and experience the event and now years later i'm being asked to perform at it are you kidding me <laughs> crazy bring a blessing but you will also receive a blessing i'm excited but also nervous because i've never performed three songs like back to back to back like original songs just like vocally i'm just like okay i need to make sure i have water you know i'm not like a professional singer or something i don't even warm up before i sing like that's how bad like i'm treating my voice and so i will be fixing that in 2020 i'm trying to keep my vocal cords i will be performing at this adventist um conference event called ignite i think i spoke about it in my 2019 recap video that last year i was a speaker at ignite this year they invited me back to be a featured artist and so i will also be performing there too not quite sure of those dates yet but when i do know the dates i will 100 percent share it with you all whether you're adventist non-denominational whatever it doesn't matter you are invited you're wanted and we would love to have you there now to talk about more school stuff when i was in speech i was in the five-year program which means that i was accelerated which means i did less gen eds and more core classes however now that i've been set back into the normal track with the commoners i'm kidding I'm kidding now that i'm in the regular track i have way more gen eds than core classes i literally have one uno core class for psych cognitive psychology it's literally making me busier than i was when i had three core classes for my major last semester i'm just like make it make sense god and so i have less time to feed my creativity and write songs and film youtube videos and just do what i want to do i have been treating my creativity time and my alone time as free time so mm. so in essence any creative introverts out there don't treat your creative time the time that you put in to what makes you you your recharging time do not treat that as free time like when someone hits you up hey you up doing anything no you're writing a song or you are just recharging your journaling and anything um yeah no, no no i'm not doing anything um yeah let's do it let's hang out if you're like me and you've been going through something similar and you can't figure out why you haven't been yourself or you've just been so low energy lately and things are getting to you more than they usually do you could be experiencing what i'm experiencing and i don't know if there's a name for this but please do not run yourselves thin and give yourself time to be creative and to create because that is how we thrive that is how we function optimally so if we don't give ourselves that time we're not gonna we're not gonna be our best selves so speaking from experience stop treating that time like it's free time that you can give away to anybody it's important four years on youtube it's been a journey my videos have changed so much over time i am not who i was the first time i filmed a video at 14 years old i am now 19 about to be 20 this year Ugh. it's not the same if i'm being honest i'm not going to get any less popular at this point and that's something i had to realize is that i need to protect my privacy when it comes to my youtube life because i never want to get to the point where i'm oversharing and i do feel like i've been doing a pretty good job um but i don't want it to be i'm doing a pretty good job in comparison to the other youtubers because youtubers now are really what i consider oversharing but my sister has told me time and time again is that like your audience are not your friends they're your audience there's a fine line between youtube life and real life if you didn't notice i deleted my 
video where I said um, why I'm not vegan. Certain things in that video that I felt like I did overshare a bit. I know there are some people who do care about me, but then there are also others that just watch me for entertainment, and that's fine. I'm not taking that personally. I watch a lot of people for entertainment. Usually you follow YouTubers, one, because they motivate you, two, they're just entertaining, three, you just love YouTube and you love binging videos. So I never want to like cross the line of my YouTube audience versus people who genuinely care about me and my well-being. So I deleted that video, one, because I've never cried on camera and put it out to the world. And while I did do that with good intentions, that's not necessary. Vulnerability doesn't always need to come in you being in the actual moment of it. I can cry about it, write some notes from what I got from it, and then share when I'm in a more like, objective headspace because I was just like in my emotions and I, I don't, that's a that's a boundary that I never saw myself doing and I'm like, the more comfortable I get with YouTube, the easier it is to slip into the bad habits. Habits that I consider bad. Some really, really, really good advice my mommy gave me. She said, Evan, do not share anything on your YouTube channel that you would not say to a stranger in person. And that hit me and that has, just caused me to be so much more careful with what I put out. Y'all don't know me personally, and I don't want y'all to like feel like, you know like when you watch someone for so long, you kind of feel like they owe you the right to tell you what's going on in their lives. Eh, incorrect. At least not in my case. I am still early on in this where I don't have to feel like obligated to share anything. So I'm sorry I'm being very blunt, but just so we can understand each other better. Yeah, but I have so much new music coming. I've been working in different styles. Some of the songs that are coming out, you may be like, oh, okay, this is new, didn't didn't expect that. Um, since I'm still a new growing artist, I am taking advantage of the fact that I can still experiment with different sounds and while I'm trying to establish my own sound, getting like much closer to what I would consider my own sound. Like you'd hear that through my EP. But I'm I'm still trying to experiment, you know, and I like what I like. If I like a beat, I'm not gonna be like, huh, let me not do that because that's not what my audience is used to. If anything, it'll probably be really cool um, to hear something different. Like, oh, okay, this is new, this is refreshing. I can, I can, I can rock to this. I'm giving myself that freedom to experiment so thank you so much to all of you who support my music and let me know like i love when y'all actually let me know i always make it a like big deal to let people know when i like something of theirs or when i like something that they're doing because my love language is words of affirmation and i feel very appreciated honestly when i get to receive the love that i give out so i yes please <laughs> thank you <laughs> Also, 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 please, this is where you all can genuinely help me. If y'all know any good filmmakers, photographers, videographers, graphic designers, please let me know. Like, you can DM me on Instagram because I am really trying to level up and I would love to work with more creatives. The creative space is just so broad and there are just so many, like, opportunities to be had. <laughs> so I would really appreciate that. I also work with a producer now so my vocals will be like more professionally mixed for my whole EP I did it myself and I'm proud of what I did but to the producer's air it probably sounds like very like amateur and like wow I could really make this so much better and that makes so much sense growth people it's all about growth okay and the producer's name is Kenny Helms um, he mixed my vocals for cycle and I use a lot of his beats for my EP so check him out Kenny Helms you're great my guy I appreciate you. And lastly, I just want to thank you all for the success of this sister video um, because something I also realized is that I went from only like purely doing like fun videos to just doing like faith videos or like serious videos and like not mixing it up enough. And I am not a serious person. Like, I don't know if I ever came across that way like on my channel, but I'm not. <laughs> and I hope that you all can see that like in my vlogs and stuff. Um, but I really wanted to film that sister video because my sister was actually the one who pointed it out to me. She was like, you should do more videos where you're showing your personality more. I have a lot of personality and because this is supposed to be a fun creative space, I want it to be mixed with meaning and fun. That was a lot. My friend just texted me to go and eat lunch and so I need to go. But thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, like, subscribe. Um, I hope you have a good day, a good week. Make a great week. Spend time today with God. Set aside some time. Just let him know how your day is going, whatever it is. He wants to know. Yeah, just some encouragement. I'm gonna go now. I appreciate you all.